Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith from Piece of Cake. Recently, I taught a hand quilting class in person. And one thing I noticed was that so many people really had trouble finding a thimble that fit their fingers. I mean, they really did. And I have to admit, after I whammed my finger in between two cinder blocks, my finger's a little weirder to fit these days too. I found the original ugly thimble. It's one size fits all because you make it to fit your own finger. The instructions are included and I think it's probably smart to follow the instructions. So it says, on the thimble strip, place the plastic finger guard where you need it to protect your finger. And the way this is going to fit, it's gonna go here and here and over the top. So you have to decide before you start where it is exactly you're going to want to use this thimble. Are you going to want the finger guard at the top or are you going to want it here if you were go going to use this area to quilt with? And you know what I do? I like to quilt with this part of my finger. So that's where my thimble guard is gonna go. So it's that is going to go there. I'm gonna put it right there. Now I'm going to test it, and what I need to do is see if I've got more leather than I need. I'm probably going to want to take down this side a little bit. And she tells you to round the corners. I have all my corners rounded. Let me double check this before I get the glue on it. Is that really where I want it? I do believe it is. So I am going to make a little mark here and here and here and here, just so I know. Glue both the plastic and leather finger guard in place. I believe this is just a straight up glue stick that she has included in here for those of us who don't have a glue stick. And when I say a straight up glue stick, I mean like an Elmer's glue stick, nothing fancy. Isn't that an interesting way to package a glue stick? It would never occur to me to do it this way, but that's pretty smart. Glue both the plastic and leather finger guard in place. So I'm going to put that there. I'm really glad I put my mark there. And now I want to put glue on this. All right, got that. So she says, now prepare to get sticky. <laughs> I'm kind of already sticky. And spread glue on the right side of this thimble strip, right side of the thimble strip and the top. And you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to use the bag here to protect my table from being sticky. And you know how glue sticks are. Once they dry, they really aren't sticky anymore. So I'm going to place my finger there and wrap that around and wrap that around. Make sure the fit is where you want it. And then bring the top down to fit your finger. Wrap the thimble around your finger and hold for about 20 seconds. While we're waiting for the glue to dry, let me read a little bit more. She says, enjoy your thimble. I think I will. Uh, make it yours, make it fit pr um, perfectly. If you have to refit it a couple of times, you can. You just unglue it, cut, and redo. I think mine looks pretty good. There is a note, be careful you can force the needle through that plastic guard if you try hard enough. So be aware that that's a possibility. I did notice that Kathy of Kathy's Creations had on one of her thimbles an extra piece of leather on here. I think you could add more to the outside if you just wanted to. You could maybe put a leather thimble pad on here for extra protection if you wanted to, or one of the other 
metal adhesive thimbles that come from Colonial that I have on my site. That's pretty nice. And it is indeed the original ugly thimble. It isn't beautiful, but it is functional. Thank you, Kathy of Kathy's Creations. And thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and may you have many happy stitches.